Kitchen. The Butson Diaries is a cho uh, is a choice between salvation and revenge. It follows the story of Betty Lawrence that stumbles upon an ancient jewel with mysterious powers that uh, people have been looking for for ages. She stumbles across it. Her husband ends up getting killed and now she's have to decide whether she wants to be the next protector of the Bloodstone or does she want to use its power to go and kill the people that, or seek revenge on the people that will, uh, that killed her husband. My co-writer, David Kuhn, uh, and he actually came up with the, the whole story. Uh, it's his creation. And we were talking about doing some sort of web series. I, I said I'd love to do something that would be like on a continuous thing to kind of explore characters and really grow with characters. And he came up with this great idea. And he, he, he calls me up, he goes, hey, what about this, um, this, this thing with Hitler? And you know, Hitler used to, was out for the Holy Grail and he had this guy and then this and that and, and had like a, a, all, I mean, he went around in this big thing and this elaborate story and said, and then he came down to, and then they find this jewel that does this. And I'm like, that is so cool. Originally what we thought was, uh, hey, wouldn't it be cool to create a web series which was all uh, point of view uh, and with just this, make it look like it's supposed to be, you know, just a guy walking around with a camera, make it look real. And that's how it all started. And then we got into doing some of these uh, stories and we thought, boy, you know, this would make a really good dramatic series and, and then just changed everything from there. Uh, it's just, you know, something that we really enjoy doing. We love the character of Betty. We feel like um, when, when we write for, with her and we, and we go on a different project, we, we always say, gosh, we, we miss hanging with Betty and we'll write something with her and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is her kind of like the superhero origin story. So uh, she creates a little life for herself in these, these little places. And then she still does all this research because she still continues to want to get revenge, but then she gets found and, and everything goes through that way. And we were just looking for actors and a friend of mine who happened to be uh, helping, he said, hey, I've got a friend of mine who uh, wants to do some acting and, you know, I said, great, no problem. And so we all met at uh, Sticky's in Little Rock and she was there and I'm like, God, this girl looks familiar. I, you know, I didn't know who she was. And, and then I come to find out that she's Katie Allen, who's Chris Allen's wife. And I'm um, like, oh, well, that's cool. She said, hey, look, I'm moving out to L.A. If you have anything that you're shooting, you want you know, anybody in, let me know. So I talked to David, and we thought about writing something specifically for her. And we thought, okay, we'll just you know, we'll create something, have some fun. And we had already thought about you know, Betty Lawrence being a totally different character. And we thought, well... We could always do this as a short film, and if, you know, if we create it for the web series, we do it you know, later on and whatever. And then that's how that came about. I mean, it's, it's funny. <laughs> My favorite part, I have to say that I walked into the homeless camp, and, and, and I was just, seriously, I was so overcome with like joy about, I mean, it looked exactly like I had imagined it and even actually it looked even better than I had imagined it and then I walked into Sam and Betty's area their tent and I look around and there's a little pantry in there and there's and and Mitchell Crisp our production designer I mean she thought of everything and I I seriously I I almost cried when I walked in there because it was it I mean I, it was so fantastic and, and what she did on the budget that we had, I, I don't know how she pulled it off, but she really, really, I mean, completely pulled it off. Boy, I gotta tell you, I wanna point out two people from El Dorado High specifically, Savannah and Foster. Those two guys were like superstars. Really, really, I mean, really made my job a lot easier. And uh, I really, I am so glad to have met them because I will call them on other projects. As far as the SAU Tech kids, I can't say enough good things about them. Steve Taylor, who, who's their teacher, he's the only one I've ever seen that teach kids the way they are taught. It's not about a book. It's not about, okay, here's how you do it. He gets them out on jobs. He gets them out on, on real big feature films and small ones and commercials, and, and they learn. They are so far ahead 
of anybody else coming out of college. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And, and the way he, he does it, if he doesn't have a piece of equipment in, his, uh, in school and the, and the director says, look, I'm going to be using this piece of camera, or this whatever it is, he will look it up on the internet, he will take pictures, he will show it to everybody and say, this is how this works. When they ask you for this, this is what it's gonna look like. When they say to plug this in, it goes in here. And, and nobody does that kind of stuff. Nobody does that kind of stuff. Seriously, our, our, you know, our, 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 a lot of our lead people were people from SAU Tech. And I mean, you, know, you, don't have a, you don't have a big budget, you have to kind of do that things. But I don't think that we sacrificed anything. Uh, I think that those guys did a fantastic job. I mean, seriously, these guys could go and work on any feature film and not have any problems. Nobody think twice about it. El Dorado, can I, can I curse? <laughs> El Dorado is badass. <laughs> I mean, these guys, really just opened the door for us. I mean, they welcomed us. I've never felt so welcome in at any place that I've shot before. And I've been doing this a long time. I mean, really, uh, from the police department, from the fire department, from just the people, from just just the neighbors, just kind of, hey, what do you need? Oh, this is great. I, I mean, it's it's been fantastic. And, and boy, I can't wait to shoot more stuff here, really. I mean, these they've been so fantastic. Mm -hmm.